Well, hello and welcome to the latest installment of my radio controlled 600 scale Airwolf. Um, this video is going to talk through the developments that have been made recently on the workable side gun pods. You know that Airwolf has two pods, one either side, with uh, extendable guns that extend and retract into the nacelles. Um, anyone who's familiar with the 600 scale fuselage for the Airwolf will know that it comes with these moulded plastic side gun uh, nacelles. They can either be glued in the shut position or glued in the open position with some scale static guns. But what I've tried to do is to modify them uh, to house some workable um, retractable guns. What I've done is I've hollowed out the plastic nacelle to gain access to the, the middle of it. And in there, I've installed some phenolic brass tubes of various sizes. So for the main gun, the outer tube is a, a four millimeter tube going down to a, a three millimeter tube. And then for the uh, upper machine guns, we have a three millimeter brass tube with some two millimeter black carbon fiber rods in there. Um, to simulate the machine guns. Obviously this is still very rough at the moment, it hasn't been painted or, or scaled uh, up at all. Um, and then what we have, if you can see in the middle, is a, a slot of, in the uh, main tube um, to allow the inner tube to run up and down with a screw to stop it from extending too far. And then you might just be able to see at the back there, there's a steel cable, a one and a half mil steel cable, that uh, is the push and pull mechanism uh, for the, uh, the main guns. That cable runs up a four millimeter brass tube uh, out the end here. And it's this cable that will be uh, pulled and pushed by a servo within the fuselage that will extend and retract the guns. There's another supporting brass tube here uh, this is all part of the sliding mechanism. There's a, another 5mm brass tube installed within the fuselage itself that will house these tubes and allow them to run up and down. So the, the overall movement of the nacelle will be like that, in and out. This steel rod will also run into the fuselage to a separate servo which will control the, uh, the push and pull of the nacelle in and out. But just to show you what the, uh, the guns uh, look like when they are extended, um, I'll turn it up this way so you can see. Obviously that's the retract position. And then if we push the cable, we get the guns. Obviously it's a bit crude at the moment, it hasn't been finished, but essentially you have the brass main 30mm cannon uh, extending and that, using a, a small plastic linkage, pulls the carbon fibre uh, machine guns out of their housings in the top. So, just try and give you an all-round view. Obviously it's very rough at the moment, needs a bit more work, but that's essentially what you've got. It's a bit tight on space, there's not much uh, much to play with. I will try and using one hand to uh, move the mechanism in and out so you can see. And then in time there will be some scale bullets that will run along here to form the, uh, the scale machine gun um, tray mechanism and some extra detailing around here for the, uh, the various wiring. But essentially what we have is a self-contained unit that can be installed into the Airwolf um, that will simulate the, uh, the guns. So once I've got this installed on the fuselage, um, I'll post another video um, showing you how it all works in, uh, um, in reality. Thanks very much.